I got so shook, I had to change my outfit. I mean, I just changed my shirt and got my In Hype and Fate World Tour knockoff hoodie. Because I, I, I'm a dumbass and I realize that I can't wear this shirt to fucking work. Because it's too much of a crop top. But I figured if I got oversized crop tops that they would be like a box top on me. But this one is just a loose fit crop top, which I'm grateful for. But I, I, I literally took my hair out of the ponytail fuck hairline shit too lazy to grab a brush so we're gonna attempt to calm down I'm gonna attempt to calm down after fuck watching fucking brought the heat back are you fucking kidding me what the fuck was that We're going into Highway 
Jasmine definitely helped calm me down from brought the heat back. I like how it, a lot of the parts, the song is just in the background. And the full audio is just from the clips that they use. It's like the first K-pop group since I've been into K-pop that I've actually just wanted to follow until the end of their careers. After I had taken a two year break from K pop, and two years from having really bad trust issues with making friends and, and connections and trying to figure out who I am as a person. And I guess their music and them as a whole just kept me sane and, and helped comfort me a lot. So they're a really special group to me because they've helped get me through a really rough time. point i mean it was like towards the end of like covid and everything towards the end of lockdown and a lot of things was rough i was processing a lot and i mean even though i got into them in 2022 like january of 2022 i i went back and watched the entirety of island to watch their connections form and I usually don't do that with groups at all but for them I was like I, I gotta know and it just made me fall in love with them even more So yeah, I don't know if you could hear anything that I was saying, but I mean, I was just getting emotional as I do when I watch stuff. But yeah, and I have been helped me get through a really rough mental time, uh, especially after figuring out the types of people that I wanted to surround myself with and the types of people that I didn't want to surround myself with. And having finally cut off the last batch of people that were a lesson for me to learn that were a chapter in my book, that were a season in my series and it's like I mean before I figured out that I am neurodivergent it, I first k-pop group I ever got into was EXO and then BTS and then from there I really didn't have a hyper focus or infatuation with any group until in hypen and fever had already come out and people were like raging about fever and it wasn't until a few months after all of that had died down was when i really got into in hypen 
um, during the controversy with Heesung and his nose implant and getting that removed, that was literally like when I got into and hyping because I was like, what the fuck? Like, why do people care? It was like, if it wasn't good for his health and, you know, he's recovering, I mean, like, after you get any type of surgery or anything like that, it's that part of your body or your face is going to be swollen. And I was like, he's still really fucking handsome, even while recovering after getting that implant taken out. Like, he was handsome with it. He was handsome he's handsome without it and I just didn't understand why a lot of like k-pop fans were just that was like a controversy or anything like that or why people were hating on him because of that and I think I just because I have been picked on for physical appearance I was like I had a special attachment to an hyphen during that time because I was like they shouldn't care. Um, they they shouldn't be talked down to just because of certain things and certain decisions that they make. So yeah, I mean, I'm older than the whole group, but not by much. Um, I'm only older than Hisung by a year in eight months I think a year and nine months and then with Jake I'm only older than him by two years and two years and ten months yeah I think that's the math but, I mean, this group is really, really special to me, which is why I always have merch and stuff like that. I mean, this is also the first group that I've gotten into as an adult, um, while I have my own money to be able to get merch, to be able to get webtoon comics and albums and knockoff merch. Um, but, yeah, and Hypen's just very, very, very special to me, near and dear to my heart, and always will be. And I don't think that'll ever change. I think this is just the first group that has helped me solidify myself as an individual in adulthood, and it's just really, really special. So, yeah. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you made it to the end, thank you for watching my ramble for a while. I appreciate that too. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful time of day or night that you're seeing this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!